Hello everyone, welcome to Support for Research. Today we will discuss about starting the research. This topic uh, that I have prepared today is based on the queries that I have been receiving from the undergraduate student and PhD as well as you know PG student. They wanted to know how they can able to start their research. Uh, they, they are from different backgrounds so I'll be keeping it in generic so that uh, student from different you know subject area can able to understand so let's start and this I have kept is a um, uh, you know beginners guide so when we talk about starting a research so first thing we need to understand is the need to do research so it can be of to obtain a degree either you know you want to contribute something to the scientific society and uh, sometimes uh, you need to do uh, you know have self satisfaction self motivation publisher peer is pressure that you do understand those who are in the academic field like faculty member then self interest so either what we can do we we can have a balance between this also self interest and self denial if we can do that uh, then also we can able to move forward like you know in the process of uh, understanding or to to know the need to do research so th this is what uh, might motivate you or uh, to start this research journey but when we come to a point selecting the research topic that's where you know many of the time student they they got confused or they they do not know how to proceed further so this is what uh, they have asked me uh, like uh, how to choose the research topic because uh, as you can see over here what i have kept is the you know different field like uh, science physical science like uh, biological science art space then social sciences so this is where if we if we talk about this this is somewhat you know a broad area now they are you know sub subject or sub discipline can be this and further the specialized area specialized area can be this field so from broad broad to narrowing down it is you have to narrow it down so now you have this area like genetic geography if we talk about art sciences then cognitive physiology if we talk about social sciences or you can have organic chemistry analytical chemistry if we are talking about physical sciences so now this area this specialized area can be your your research interest uh, let me go back you know uh, let let us try to understand what uh, as a student point of view what they will be doing so what they can do is they can go to the web browser and uh, here they can let's say they just type uh, research research in computer science uh, let's say uh, he or she is from the computer science so they want to explore topics so once you do that this is a generic search and computer science again is a vast area so you'll be having so many you know um, the keyword based on your keyword you have this many of option to explore and you can have like 12 most emerging research area in computer science you can explore this area also so that it might lead you to the the specialized area which i was talking about so you need to understand about your subject field once you uh, once you come to a stage where you can able to understand what is the you know uh, discipline what are the different dif discipline and what are the sub discipline and what are the specialized discipline of your area then it will be much more easy for you people to you know proceed further on that particular specialized area so this is what you know if you just click on the images also here also you can see different area that are related to computer science and the research that are going on so you can explore based on your interest and the specialized area that you thought of uh, you know exploring so once you do that you can proceed further so let us uh, move further if if we talk about this you know like as i was talking about uh, this computer science these many different area are there 
and one thing you need to understand you know it is not like that if when i when i'm talking about a specialized area let's say uh, you know uh, some uh, virtual uh, assist, assistive device you are making or let's say you are exploring artificial intelligence then the other area is, is not in in play there are you know few areas there will be some uh, you know overlapping or when you take uh, uh, starting making a uh, robot you, you can able to understand uh, from mechanical electronics and from other discipline also there will be component that you need to understand and you need to apply in your research so this this is what we uh, normally talk about the multidisciplinary research also many of the time even though we we have a specialized area the concept or the different component that you know sometimes you need to pick up from different uh, sub discipline different subject area so you need to have some sort of understanding about different uh, subject discipline which normally we need we do study in our first year if we talk about uh, your btech or b degree there we study the generic you know uh, field uh, irrespective of that particular discipline so that is what in if if you have that idea then later on you can narrow it down and you can have a you know specialized or chan channelized uh, subject area and you can explore that one so that is that is how you can uh, we can proceed also so this is what i, I was th uh, i thought of uh, giving a sort of a example like uh, when we are talking about computing or let's say computer science or information technology and uh, let's say you want to design this robot and in process of designing th that robot you need to have uh, you know understanding about the component that to be used here the software the hardware part that to be used here and uh, furthermore the uh, computing that will be doing or the artificial intelligence if we are talking about other sort of thing to make it a smarter one so then you can improvise uh, that particular thing that will be coming uh, how, how you can able to you know come up with new thing or something something you are trying to add to the existing one to do so what you have to do is you need to understand about this literature behind it so literature review you have to perform very well in depth state of art sort of review you have to perform like uh, uh, because you, you are now new into the research and uh, you might be thinking about how to do do that so basically you know when we talk about literature review basically you need to explore like the search that will be performing here so here search the literature write the review these are the step that you need to understand then develop your argument and then select a topic so this is what in, in this process basically you are narrowing down from a broader discipline to a to a specialized area so that will help you to to narrow it down your research area to a uh, specialized area so then further you can explore it in that process you can able to understand what other thing has been done already done it is not like you know replicating or uh, creating the same thing which is already existing so the so in the literature review what you need to understand is that first you have to explore the literature like you can use the wave uh, as i have uh, shown you or you have the library that to, you can explore that one also then write the review then the review and you have to do the survey of the literature which you have done then uh, the critic the you have to you have to come up with some critic about the review that you have performed then develop your argument over the review what you have done then you have then you can go for selecting a topic so this is the whole thing like you know spe uh, specific issue or gap you need to find out on the existing so basically what is that thing there are so many things already being done and when we talk about research that is nothing but re and the search again which you are performing you are repeating it and the re in that process of research you have to find out specific gap or issues where the work has not yet been done and once you know that 
how you can able to do that if you have done a literature survey properly then you can able to understand this you know gap or this sort of uh, you know uh, knowledge which is uh, uh, which you are trying to explore and in that process you can able to come up with your problem so next thing is th that you, you need to understand about the question the research question that will be coming up because as we are talking about this robot here and to design that robot you need to have certain query in your mind because there are so many robots that are available and what is new about it what is new here so to 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 have that idea in your mind in for your research problem you have to come up with that question like wh what what new i can uh, able to you know introduce into this robot either in terms of design some sort of feature or some sort of you know uh, computing uh, uh, algorithm or application or something new which the existing robot are not performing so once you know, know that then uh, you can able to start your research so that is where you know strong research question is is very much important so when we talk about coming up with question then for that you need to have this question should have some sort of specific feasible it has to be original relevant it has to be complex but you know it, you need to have some sort of uh, argument over that then researchable then focused so this sort of qualities your research question should have that means once you are able to understand after doing a proper literature review once you come up with your uh, sort of understanding over it and then you can come up with this research question and then you can plan your journey uh, your research journey so for that uh, you know you can you can you can come up with this and uh, then you can start your research which we are talking about here then you can start your research this research you can start and this is what you know uh, I thought of covering in this particular video uh, please do comment if I have missed out anything or you like to know more about it uh, stay tuned please uh, hit the like icon and uh, share among with your colleague and keep supporting your support for research if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do it thank you thank you again